Hello and welcome to Jira Workflow Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the Jira Workflow Post Functions. So let's go to the Jira Administration section. I'll go to the Issues and then from Issues, we'll go to the Workflow section. So now in the Workflow section, we have created a sample workflow. We'll scroll down to the Inactive section and open the sample workflow that we have created already. Now once we edit the workflow we'll go to the diagram mode and in the diagram mode select any of the transition so we have already worked with the transition and added condition and validator so in this tutorial we'll see uh, what post functions are and then add some of the post function now we have done some condition validator for the transition in testing and the transition in testing from in development to in testing and from reopen to in testing right now post functions if you see there are already some post functions for um, this workflow and uh, at the moment you can see this there is no screen it will happen instantly so there there won't be any screen that will appear uh, once the transition happens now what post function is basically it's um, it will it, there are some uh, post steps that happen so for example set issues status to the link sta uh, to the link status of the destination workflow step right now once an issue has been moved to the uh, next state right so these are all post functions so the status um, issue status will be linked as the workflow step status so that's the by default post function that is already available there and these are if you see these are all default post function that are already there that you can edit you know like some so the top four you can't even edit or delete right so these are all default that that are already there in jira but uh, the last one fire a generic event that can be processed by listener you can edit that but you can't delete that right um, now we'll add some other post function so we'll click on add post function and we'll see what other post functions are available so for example assign to current user or assign to lead developer assign to reporter right so these are some of the post functions that are available so for example an issue has been completed it has been tested and passed testing now once the issue has passed testing and it's moved to done there might be the the requirement to populate a particular field uh, which is a developer field that whosoever has done development gets automatically that field automatically gets populated uh, once the issue has been closed so those sort of scenarios are possible in the post function or say for example assign to lead developer once the issue has been completed or done you assign it to the lead developer right or when an uh, when an issue is say for example moved from uh, development to in review okay so, so for example at the moment if you see our workflow we don't have anything any state status as in review but there are scenarios wherein you have in development and then in review or in code review and then once the code review is passed then it moves to the in testing phase so for example if the transition is in code review then what you can do is assign to the lead developer so as soon as that transition occurs automatically it, the issue gets assigned to lead developer so he is notified that yes there there is an issue which needs to be addressed or which i need to review or get reviewed by someone else similarly if for example um, i can add another post function in the same scenario once the issue has been moved from development to testing i can say um, assign or update an issue field okay so we can select that update an issue field and you can choose what all fields you need to update automatically right so for example you can choose the resolution automatically right so you can say uh, fixed right 
so once the issue is moved into testing from a development to testing you can automatically say the resolution field gets automatically changed to fixed right i won't change it here what i'll do is i'll add this post function for another transition so let me go back and we'll use this post function for done so from when an issue moves from in testing to done we'll say then update an issue field and we'll choose an issue field as a resolution and we'll say the resolution as uh, to be marked as done right so that will happen automatically as as soon as issues move from in testing to done then resolution will be set to done as well automatically right so that's um, pretty much all about the post functions in jira workflow hope you like the video thank you for watching